Next question is from good friend David Barr. We are going to our first burn supper later this month. I have a full American dream tartan suit and kilt, vest, and jacket. Is that too much for the occasion? I do not have a PC yet. Things keep getting in the way. I do have a Kilkenny I can wear, though. Okay. So, how do you want to tackle this one? I want to tackle David Barr for many reasons. <laughs> that Paisley shirt's the first reason. The um, <clears throat> So, going to a Burns night and wants to know how formal or informal to be is a full tartan kilt suit too much for a burn supper? Depends on the burn supper. Yeah. I, uh, some burn suppers are very formal. Others are very, I wouldn't say casual, but more smart day wear and probably down to smaller, like home-based ones where it's like, yeah, I'm going to invite 15 people over to my house kind of thing. That's more casual, probably. Um, so the... If it is, I would say look at the invitation and look at the you know the data for the event itself. If it says it is a black tie event, then a Prince Charlie is going to be, or a black jacket is going to be the right way to go as, as formal as you can be. Now, the uh, using Philadelphia St. Andrews Society as a bit of a, a bellwether here, um, they have formal events typically for... Uh, for St. Andrew's Day in November, their burn supper is a little bit more raucous, a little, little more scotch. Um, well, they have a lot of scotch at all their events, in fairness. Um, yeah. But it is more smart day wear. You're going to see tweeds. You're going to see nice type outfits, but not formal necessarily. So it really depends on the people at the event and that are planning the event, what they are willing or wanting to do. Now, if this is your first burn supper or the first times at this particular burn supper i would say check the invitation or check the facebook invite or whatever it is or the website um if they don't mention anything then look at the photos if they have mm. done it for multiple years go back to the 2023 2022 2021 versions of the event and see how the rest of the people are dressed if everyone there is in a black jacket and a bow tie, then, okay, fine. Maybe wear your Kilkenny with a bow tie or a solid black tie or something like that. If there are a bunch of different levels of outfits, then sure, have at it. Wear your, your mm -hmm. over-the-top, you know, uh, full American dream kilt suit. Yeah. And decide how much you want to be a peacock at an event you're going to for the first time. I guess it depends how well you know the people. Even if you're not, maybe, maybe you know these people and you haven't been to their event before, um, are they open to that level of individuality peacockery peacockery if you will um yeah. and if you don't know maybe it is probably safer to go with the more safe option the kill kenny or even acquiring that pc finally um but yeah if everybody's you know if you see in those pictures there's a guy in a red velvet argyle and there's another guy in a tartan pc and another guy wearing a, a tweed inverness cape and, and and people are really peacocking it up all over the place Peacocks, as far as yeah, yeah, of course, where that American. There's <laughs> everywhere. The, I was trying no. not to go that far. <laughs> you have a new day. Uh, no, it's that's a good point though. But it's you're in wearing a full tartan kilt suit. You are the the king peacock in a room of peacocks. So just I would to your point and to reinforce your point. Um, if it is your first time going there and you don't know everybody, then maybe tone it down a little bit just to be safe. You don't want to be seen as that guy, the guy who's looking for all the attention. I know David Barr. It, it depends on your willingness to ruffle feathers, too. Yes. You know, would you be scandalized if everybody thought you stood out too much? If you don't care, <laughs> it's a different story. If this is a group you're trying yeah. to join, you know, maybe go a little more conservative. Yeah, I would, I would potentially yeah. go a little more conservative the first yeah. time. And then once you get to know some people and yeah. it's, or if there's a lot of guys in some over the top outfits, then yes. Yeah. Um, but it's, I'll, I'll draw a bit of a parallel in, in what I tell people is, uh, what I tell people is if you're going to a wedding and, or to an event, and there's going to be dozens of guys in kilts and, you know, you know, everybody there and you're an outgoing, you know, out there type personality, you know, loud and proud, then sure wear the full tartan kilt suit. If you're going to a wedding and 
it's your, you know, second cousin's wedding, or it's a friend of a friend kind of thing, or it's your wife's cousin's wedding. They don't really know you personally per se. Um, and there may not be other guys in kilts. Then I would say just wear tone it down a little bit. Yes, you want to kind if of your personality is a bit more introverted and a little bit more like nervous in that new environment. Yeah. Where you're gonna draw attention to that. <laughs> yeah. So well if in fairness, if your if your personality is more introverted, you probably wouldn't wear a full tartan kilt suit anyway. Yeah. Um, unless you're the type of person trying to substitute your, your personality with clothing. <laughs> fair. <laughs> Which I don't think David is. So what he's saying, David, is you have no personality at all. You are the milk toastiest <laughs> white dude that we've ever met. I think I think David is uh, not to get too personal on this question because we're trying to make it universal for everybody. But I don't think David's at either of the extreme extrovert. I'm the 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 king of the walk. I'm, I'm yeah. I want to be the center of attention. I want everybody looking at me. But he's also not the introvert. He's not that guy. Yeah. No. But, but it's you know try to it, when in doubt tone it down a touch. Yeah. If you know what you're doing, you've worn it a dozen times, and you know everyone involved in the pro, in the in the event, and you know the personalities that are in the room. And you and they're loud as well. Sure, have at it. And if there, if after all that advice, you're still on the fence, you're not quite what sure, sure, not quite sure what to do about this event. I would say, were you invited by an individual? Like, is it a friend of yours who's like, hey, come on out to our burns tonight? Check in with them, like quiz them, find out where where this specific event lands on the spectrum of all these different possibilities we've we've created, and, and kind of narrow down <clears throat> whether you know what, what makes most sense for you. Agreed. Cheers. But long story short, Burns Nights can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. So what kind of events do you attend wearing the kilt? Do you go to St. Andrew's dinners? Do you go to burn suppers like our friend David? Do you go to just Highland Games in the summer? Let me know down in the comments what your favorite places to wear the kilt are, is. Do it, is it are or is? I'm not sure. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. Also, while you are here, please give us a thumbs up if you enjoy the debauchery that is our live show. Now, it's not a live show. Our recorded videos. Thanks.